Based on your teaching on fear pastor, I want to ask, how can we get rid of the spirit of fear as believers? People can experience symptoms of great fear even when what caused that fear is long gone. You need to know that God has not given you the spirit of fear. Fear comes from the devil. Learning to pray about everything that makes you afraid is a big step to setting you free from the spirit of fear. A mind that is overcome with fear is not a sound mind. A sound mind is our birthrights as children of God. Recognize your fear, face them and see exactly where it originates from. Be deliberate about inviting Jesus into everything you do. Invite his love, his peace and joy to fill your heart. Brethren, open your Bibles to the book of 2 Timothy 1 verse 17. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of sound mind. The truth is God will never give us the spirit of fear as children of God. He has given us his power, his love and a sound mind. Repeat after me. I have a sound mind. The spirit of the Lord rests on me, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and strength, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. Sister Elizabeth, thank God you finally came out. I have been waiting for you. Hello Jenna. I hope all is well. I want you to know that you are welcome to share the house with me and stay in a jockey's room for as long as you want. I am also sorry for how I spoke to you the other time. Someone got me angry and I sought of transferred the aggression on you, please forgive me. Thank you so much Sister Jenna. I am truly grateful. Can I move in this weekend? Yes of course. Heavenly Father, I thank you for you are my light and my salvation. You are the stronghold of my life. I declare that I do not have the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. I plead the blood of Jesus over the affairs of my life. I will not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrows that fly by day. Amen. Why is Mr. Miller calling me at this time? I hope all is well. Doctor what are you saying? How is this even possible? How could she just die? I am so sorry Mr. Miller. We did all we could but we lost Mrs. Mueller. Oh. Uh, no. No. Mother. No. This wasn't what we agreed on. Mr. Miller. I am so sorry. I came as soon as I got your message. What happened to Mrs. Mueller? I don't know Jenna. She was doing well. She started complaining of pains all over her body. I decided to bring her to the hospital. They rushed her to the emergency unit. Two hours later the doctor came out to tell me she was gone. Oh, I am so confused. Oh God. Oh God. Mummy. Why? Jenna, I need you to coordinate the activities at work. There's a scheduled contract renewal with the management of bricks and stones. I need you to represent me there. I will be away for two weeks to plan for the burial. I trust you Jenna and I know you can do this. Okay Mr. Mueller. Clara. What are you doing here? Jenna. Oh my god. It's been such a long time. I live in this city with my family. Jenna, I have tried to reconnect with you several times. I went to your house, your mom sent me away. Jenna please let me have your contact. We need to see and talk. What a small world. So Paul is in this city. Well Clara, I don't need to sit down with you to discuss anything. I hold no grudge against you or Paul. And I have no need of renewing the friendship we once shared. So let it go. As you can see this is not the right place nor the right time. Thank you for coming Jenna. Thanks for all your encouragement I am grateful. Thank you for assisting with the burial plans. It's all over now. Be comforted Mr. Miller. Mrs. Miller is in a better place. I know she was a child of God. For the believer, Death is a transition. Because we have a hope of resurrection on the glorious morning, just like the preacher said, we have hope that we will see Mrs. Mueller again. She is in a better place now. No more pains and sickness. Please be comforted, sir. Thank you, Jenna. This is the hope we have. I know Mother is with Jesus. Thank you everyone for honoring my invitation to the burial of my dear mother Janet Miller. 
words cannot express the depth of my gratitude. I wish you all a safe journey as you go back to your destinations. God bless you all. Michael I am so sorry. I know how hard this must be for you and your sister. Thank you Jackie. Thanks for coming all the way. I had to be here, as the caring girlfriend that I am. I will be leaving tomorrow though. I would have loved to stay longer but you know I have to get back to work. Anyways when are you returning? Now that the burial is over. Jackie, I don't know. The initial plan was to be with my mom and take care of her while she was ill. Mom wrote in her will that I become the CEO of Mills Real Estates, and to be honest the past few weeks has been really wonderful. I have had an opportunity to practice stuffs we learned during our MBA. I love working here. How about us? What happens to the relationship we have been building for the past two years? Michael this wasn't the plan. I know Jackie. Let's talk about this when my mind is clear. I have just buried my mom. This is not the time for this conversation. Michael. I know you. You already know what you want. Don't keep me in suspense. Speak up, because I know you have made a decision. Jackie, you know I love you. I want to be with you. But then mom has handed over this company for me to manage. I just can't let her legacy die along with her and all she has worked for. I know how had she worked to build Mills real estate. I have thought about everything. I can't leave all of this to be struggling to build another man's business, when I can focus my strength here. So where do I fit in all of this? Michael what is your plan for me? Marry me Jackie. And move down here with me. You are joking right? You know I can't move down here. I have just been made an executive director at the bank, the youngest executive director. My future is so bright and I don't see that happening in this quiet and small city. I can't leave all of that. I like the idea of marriage though. Maybe we can work something out. You stay here and grow Mills real estate while I stay over there. We visit each other as often as we can. Jackie, no, you know how much I want to build a family and the kind of family I desire. I want to be a dad that is present for my wife and kids. Jackie, I can take care of you and you can apply for jobs here. There are jobs here. I have told you several times, I do not want kids. Baby making would interrupt my career. I don't need that. So what are you saying? You can't even be serious. I want kids. Michael I guess this is where it ends. I think we want different things. Jackie, think about your decision. It's over Michael. Goodbye. <laughs>